Hey kids, can anyone tell me what this is? If you said castle, you're correct. And today in kindergarten, we are drawing castles. There's a special way that we're gonna learn to draw castles and we're gonna use something called shapes. Now I know you guys work a lot on your shapes in kindergarten, so today we're gonna work on some shapes in art class too. The first shape that you're gonna need in your castle is a square. I'm gonna draw a square. There's a square. The next shape you're gonna need is a rectangle. There's a rectangle. The next shape you're going to need is a triangle. Awesome. You're also going to need some circles. The next shape you're going to need isn't really a shape. It's going to remind you of this. What's this here? This is a rainbow. And this shape looks like this. Awesome. So now these are the shapes that we're going to use for our castle. When you guys are working on your castle, there's also going to be some lines that you're going to need. The first line I like to call a castle line. Now you start at one end and you go over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over. I want you guys to pick up your finger and I want you to follow along with me. Ready? We're going to go over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over. See, now you guys can do it too. Let's follow along with this guy. We're going to go over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over. Okay guys, now it's time to start drawing your castles. What you're gonna need is a piece of paper, something to draw with like a pencil, and then coloring supplies. Now coloring supplies could be crayons, markers, or colored pencils, or paint, anything that you can find in your house. Even if you can only find two markers, that's totally fine. So go ahead and get those supplies, pause the video, and we'll see you soon. So to start drawing our magical shape castles, the first thing you're going to need is a piece of paper. Now you can use a pencil for this next step, but I'm gonna use a crayon so you guys can see it better, but I would definitely recommend using a pencil because when you use a pencil, you can erase your work. When you are only using a marker or a crayon or a colored pencil, then your work cannot be erased. So whatever you do is permanent. Permanent means that it cannot be gone. So when we are creating our castles, I definitely recommend you to use a pencil, but I'm gonna use a crayon so you can see better. Now the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my paper and I'm going to find the bottom of it. Now my bottom's over here. It is really important to make sure that you are starting and working from the bottom up when creating our castles. We don't wanna start in the middle, that's not good. We're gonna start down here at the bottom. The bottom of your paper should be the closest part to you. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by drawing a big square. Now, you don't wanna make it too big. You probably wanna make it go about a little bit less than halfway up your paper. So I'm gonna draw that square now. And I'm trying to draw these lines as clean and as straight as possible. And there, I have my square. So this is going to be the base of my castle. This is gonna be where my big door is gonna be and I'm gonna have some windows and then there's gonna to be towers all around it. So, so next up what I need to do is I need to make a nice castle looking line. Now a castle line is really cool. Here is my castle line. And that was really simple. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start to draw my columns. Now columns are those big rectangles that are on a castle that we talked about earlier. So I'm gonna start at the top of my castle line 
and I'm gonna draw a line straight up and over just a little bit. Then I'm gonna draw this line all the way down to the bottom of my castle. I'm gonna connect it to that big square that we drew earlier at the bottom. Now, what shape is this? If you guessed a rectangle, then you are correct. This is a really long rectangle, and this rectangle is gonna be perfect for our column. I'm gonna do another one on this side. Now, this side can be the same height, or it can be a different height. It is up to you. There we go, now I have two rectangle columns. Now these don't really look finished to me, so I need to add some roofs to the columns. Now a roof is what sits on top of your house to keep the rain from coming in and keep the snow from coming in and keeps you safe at night. So I'm going to draw some roofs on my castle. So I'm gonna use this shape to draw a roof. Does anyone know what this shape is? If you said triangle, you're correct. That's a triangle. I'm gonna draw one over here too. Wow, now this is really starting to look like a fancy castle. I also wanna put some flags on my column. So I'm gonna draw a line coming out from each of them. And then I'm gonna draw a little triangle that's long and skinny. And that gives my castle some flags. I want some more of those columns in the back because my castle looks a little small right now. And I want it to be a big, big castle. So I'm gonna draw a column right here. And I'm doing that by drawing another rectangle. Now, did you guys notice that I never drew through this area? That's because I want to make it look like the castle is going back and farther away. If I drew a line right here, it would look silly because this column doesn't go through our little castle peak. That wouldn't make any sense. That's why I draw it behind. I'm gonna draw another one next to it so you can see that again. Remember, I'm gonna start at the top of that castle line. I'm gonna draw straight up and over and back down. I'm gonna be very careful not to go through my castle line again. So there we go, I entered another one. Now I'm gonna do one more over here. Remember straight up, I'll make this one a little bigger, over and down. Now that looks great to me. Now, does anyone remember what I need to add to these rectangles to make it look like these ones? Does anyone remember? If you said the roof, then you're correct. I need to add the roof to these. So I'm gonna use that same triangle shape again and I'm going to add some roofs on top of them. There we go, three re roofs. So now I have three roofs on all three of these. Okay, now I wanna do those flags again. So I'm gonna draw some lines coming out of them. That one's a little tall, so we're gonna pretend like it's going off the page. We're not gonna draw a flag on that one because it would be really small. And then I'm gonna draw those little flags. Remember, long, you have to do some long and skinny triangles. Now, my castle is really starting to look like a castle. But the one thing that this castle needs is more details. Details are things like windows, flags, doors. Those would be perfect examples of details. Today, we're just going to stick to windows and doors. The first thing I need to do is I need to recognize where the front of my castle is. Now, when I walk into my castle, I wanna walk through a big front door into a big room. If I had to pick a big room, I'm guessing it would be this square that's really big right in the front. So I'm going to draw my door here. Now, there's a couple different ways to draw doors. You could draw a rectangle to draw a door, or you could draw a curved door. I think I'm gonna draw a curved door. Now a curved door is kind of like a rainbow. Watch how I do it. See how that looks just like a rainbow? Except all I'm doing is this. Now I'm gonna add a little handle to my door so that people can open it. And then I'm gonna add some lines to my door so it looks like wood maybe. That looks kind of cool. 
So there's my door. Next up, I wanna draw some windows. So for a window, a good shape to use would be a square or a rectangle. You could also be creative and use a circle. I'm gonna use a circle. I'm gonna do some circles up here. Ooh, I like that. If you do the letter T inside your windows, it'll make them look like real windows. I'm gonna do one of those on every single tower head. These are what you call the tower heads or the tower peaks. This is when Rapunzel was in the castle. She was stuck in the top of a large tower. So you can kind of think of it like that. There's another one. There's another one. And one more. There. Perfect. I love how that looks. Now, coming back to the front of my castle, I want to do some windows there. I'm going to do some square windows here. So first off, I'm just going to draw a square right above my door. And then I'm going to put in that letter T again or the plus sign look to give myself a window. I'm going to do another one here and another one over here. Awesome. I really like how this turned out. Next up, I want to add some windows to my towers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some long rectangular skinny windows to make it look like the tower is really tall. And the towers are really tall, but this will make it look even taller. So watch how I do this. I'm going to start with a line that's about that long. Then I'm going to do two lines over. I'm going to connect those lines. And there I have a rectangle. And now I did that T and now it looks like a window again. I'm gonna do another one of those down here. Remember that big long rectangle and then that T on the inside to give it the window effect. Now I'm also gonna do some little windows because there could maybe be some little windows in the castle. Perfect, I like how that looks. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Do the long skinny ones first. Now see how I went over a little bit? It's okay if you mess up like that, because it can be fixed. All you have to do is draw it over again, and now it kind of looks like it has a little baby window at the bottom. There's another one. Let's do some small ones again. I'm using squares for the small ones. Perfect. Now see, I really like how this turned out. The last thing I'm do is I'm going to the last thing that I'm going to do is add a couple smaller windows to the back. Now, if the windows are smaller back here, it gives the illusion that the castle is going further back. And there, my castle drawing is completed. The next thing. The next thing that you guys need to do is you need to color your castle. To color your castle, you can use lots of different things. You could use markers. You can use markers. Here's another set of markers I have. You could use crayons or you could use colored pencils. Now, what you need to do is you need to fill your shapes with color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this middle shape and I'm just gonna use my marker and I'm going to color it in. Notice that I'm not coloring into the windows. I'm trying to practice really neat coloring here. So I'm coloring around the windows. Now to get close to the windows, you're gonna turn your marker to the side and you're gonna go very slow so that you don't accidentally draw on them. There we go. I went around my window. I'm doing the same thing around my door. I'm also making sure that my marker marks go all the way to the edges, but I'm not trying to go outside of the lines because on this project, we're going to try to be really neat. Follow along as I color some more.
And look at that, my castle is done. I think it turned out so nice. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to sign my name. I'm gonna use my black crayon again. And I'm gonna write Miss Combs. Miss Combs, now I have my name on my castle. I hope you guys had a great time in art class today. Don't forget to fill out the Google form that goes with your project. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye!